Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. As you can probably see from that intro video, this video really is about defense. Now, I think there are two types of players, not only in squad, but in first person shooters in general. You're either an attacker or a defender. And there are many games, such as when I used to play Battlefield 4 and things like that, I would actually enjoy being on defense, especially in games like Rush, than I would on the actual attacking side. And maybe that's just my style of play. I like to get in a good position, set up, wait for the enemy, and then mow them down, usually with the the uh, the big, big assault guns, you know, the machine guns, things like that. So that's my style of play but I have noticed at least over the last month or so a lot of people are coming to the game and they're not even bothering with defense you cannot win without defense just as you cannot win without attack it's a yin and yang process you need one and the other to succeed now it's it's no good the entire team, as I've seen a couple of times, the whole team just decide to go. Somebody types a message in the chat box saying, let's all attack, which is fine. If you know that the enemy are all in one position in front of you, that's all good. But with a game such as squad, where there are so many opportunities to be able to flank, defense really is key. Because while you're all up at the front, especially when some of them... The flags are very far apart. If you start to come under attack and lose the defense flag, by the time you've run back, got into position and find out where the enemy is, they've already dug in, they've taken that emplacement, that flag, and it's game over for you. And so forth, so forth. So I have on many occasions in game when people have done this, and somebody's messaged, let's all go off and attack. I'll quite happily say to them, look, if I'm leading squad 4, squad 1 and 3, go off and attack. But you have to have one squad on defence. It's the only way to play the game. Even if it's there's 4 or 5 squads, get 3 to go off and attack, get 2 to defend, maybe a couple of guys from each squad to go off, do a little bit of recon, find out where the enemy are, relay it down the radios, so forth and so forth. So, I hope more players start to think about the consequences of defense it really is quite enjoyable actually when the rest of the team run off and it's just yours especially in a compound one such as chora and you see the enemy running through the the corn fields or the poppy fields further out knowing you're literally out there on your own it's quite a good feeling i actually quite enjoy that when the rpg start flying there is quite a lot of action i find in defense because it's the Almost the the quiet before the storm, before it all kicks off. So th that's all this video was really. It's not a tutorial video. It's just a little bit of a, not really a rant. It's just, come on guys, think about defense. You need some people on defense. You can't run off and just leave one or two people on the defense marker. It just doesn't work. Anyway, I'm going to get back in and start mixing it up a little bit. Always remember, keep the medic at the back if you're going out on attack, and get your saw gunner and other people up on the hill giving you overwatch so they can see you going in and out and let you know where the enemy is. Communication is key. You know, this has been a rather quietly subdued video from me tonight. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplays, and this has been Squad. Defense. Do it. Bye-bye.